Hey everybody, Caleb here. Welcome back to the Bull and Burley. Thank you for joining me again today. Something we're gonna do a little something different today. I'm gonna talk about pipes today. Instead of tobacco, pipes. Behold my pipes. Something different today, and the angle's gonna be a little different because I'm trying to get in here and show some uh, more detail. Hanging out today with a little bit of Savinelli Juno, straight Virginia. And one of my more favorite pipes that I go to more often, I find, for Virginias, and that is a German company called Bound. This is my Bound, it's a Taipan. This is one of my pipes I bought early on, um, and it's really turned into a great Virginia pipe. Now, I'll start this off with saying I started making pipes before I started collecting pipes, because I made pipes for a little while, not long, before I ever smoked one. Man, I'm whistling good on this one. Um, so it seemed it seemed prudent to me if I was going to make pipes to research what makes a good pipe um, and what makes a good pipe smoke well. So I did that by picking up some factory ones and picking up some tobacco, trying it out for myself. The first couple of pipes I made, I made from a kit, like a pre-drilled block that it had a, a stem attached that it wasn't shaped but just attached to it. So I had to do all the shaping basically. And I tried it out and I liked it. I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. I could do this. So, so I started making pipes and I really enjoyed the process of making them and also enjoyed smoking them, uh, come to find out. So let me go through kind of my genesis as a pipe collector. Um, I started out making them, like I said. Um, this was one of my early ones. This is a, uh, um, it's like a wizard pipe, you know, I made, I just wanted to make myself kind of like a quint quintessential gun Gandalf pipe. And the only thing I really smoking that is Old Toby. That is my Old Toby pipe. So it's just brighter and acrylic, tortoiseshell acrylic, really nice. Um, second or third down the list, I made this one. It was kind of a fun shape, it's called a Nord Nordesian. I wanted to try out. Um, the briar had some, uh, you know, sand pits in it, so it wasn't uh, sellable, you know, but it's, it's actually turned out to be a really good Virginia smoking pipe. So it's kind of got a tall, thin, bowl. I think it's 19 or 18 millimeters. Um, and this one is as well. I think an 18 or 19 millimeter tall thin bowl is really good for aromatics. So those are some of my early ones. And then I started developing more um, as, I, as I kind of developed a process for actually standby. As I started developing a process for making, I started ch changing my shapes and chasing some, some what you would call not typical or like freehand shapes because I don't have a lathe still. Um, so I was farting around with this little acorn here. It, it had a longer stem on it. I ended up messing it up. Had to start again. Had a longer um, uh, mouthpiece at one point too, but I changed that out. So this is kind of like a little nose warmer acorn with some carving I did in, nice and fun. Um, also a good Virginia pipe does also pretty well at the Burleys as well. So that was one of the early ones I made. And then this was kind of about maybe 10 years in, not 10, 10 pipes into making pipes. I came up with this little shape, which I call the Danish prow. So it kind of looks like um, a Danish or Nordic inspired boat, boat prow. And that, I, this is kind of a catalog pipe for me now. I, I'm refining the shape and stuff. But this one I broke too, so it became a nose warmer. And again, um, that's my general all around. I use that for burlies and stuff like that. So those are mine. And a lot of my design or ideology behind pipe making was inspired by what I saw people making, yes, but also like some of the more traditional styles that I saw out there. <clears throat> and as a new person, I wish I would head kind of been introduced more thoroughly to pipes or researched it a little bit more. All right, so without rambling too much about that, that's kind of my early, early attempts at pipe making. But my actual collection, so not everybody's going into this to be a pipe maker. My collection started with this guy right here. Now this is a Brigham Algonquin 229. It's basically a bent apple. Um, it's a very iconic shape in the Danish typology or Danish typology of um, 
pipe styles. So it's a bent apple, really simple um, shape, but really elegant and kind of iconic in that it, 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 it's similar to like the prints and stuff like that. Um, I really enjoy this pipe now. It's, it's after two years of smoking it, roughly. Had some tobacco left. Two years of smoking it has turned into a really great um, pipe for smoking Englishes and Burleys and stuff like that. It has a wider and deeper bowl. It's really good for that. Moving down the line, I actually bought this one pretty early on, the Bound Taipan. Um, and this is a great Virginia pipe for me. It has a taller bowl that's still a little wider. I think it's 19 millimeters. And it's one I reach for pretty often when I'm going for a straight Virginia. Um, I, the Virginia Periques, I tend to go for a skinnier, taller bowl, and I wish somebody had told me, you know, I wish I had known that better going into it, how, because the Virginia Periques are a little spicier, a little tangier. Um, so slowing that down in a taller, thinner bowl, kind of concentrating your air. Um, you're, not, you're, you're not getting big gaping mouthfuls of air as much helps to kind of tame down some of the heat you get off of that. After that, I went to, uh, I've got some cobs I picked up along the way. The cobs, they don't really, they're just kind of, they're not my favorite. I'll get my, actually forgot a few of them. Um, this one was a Lorenzetti my, my wife bought me, another bent Rhodesian. A really good burly pipe, a really good English pipe. Works really good with that. Just a slight bend in it so you don't get too much moisture off of them. I don't really love cobs, but two of them that I have enjoyed. Uh, this is a Shire Cobbett from Missouri Meerschaum. This one's a really great aromatic. And Virginia or any of the tobaccos that tend to smoke a little hotter, that Church Warden or Demi Church Warden really kind of helps with that. Um, I find that it's it's more pleasurable that way. Standard cob drill, you know, which is, you know, basically, what, three quarters close to that. This is the town cobbler, Corn Hill and Deal Town Cobbler um, from Missouri Meerschaum. This is also a really good aromatic and burly pipe. So those are my two, uh, those are my two uh, cobs that I enjoy the most. I have some others, but I don't, I don't smoke them as often. And usually they're there for burleys or aromatics. All right, moving down the line. I got myself this year, I actually got my first Peterson, which is getting a little beat up because I keep dropping stuff on it. Um, with Peterson 03 Bent Apple with the copper accents. This is a really good, it's got a, it's kind of shallower bowl, but it, it does good with burleys and aromatics. It's a good hanger, you know, it hangs really well. So um, if, 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 you know, if you believe in the, if you are in the pipe community and have been for a while, you kind of hear a lot of talk about different bowl sizes may smoke different types of tobacco better than others. And, or, you know, you have to have X and such a bowl type and size and style for X and such tobacco to work really good. I haven't found that to be true because I've smoked pretty much all the different types of tobacco across the whole gamut of my pipe catalog. And some of them do seem to be more enjoyable in different types of pipes, but it's, I, I can still get a good smoke out of just about all of my pipes with just about any tobacco. The one thing I have noticed is ghosting. Like if I have a tobacco that ghosts really well, then I, this is my, this like, this little Lorenzetti, that's my ghosting pipe. If I'm gonna smoke something that's like heavy, a lot of Kia or something like that, that I go to that one. Cause I just, that way I know that that's the only one that's really ghosted bad. Maybe this guy might be a little bit too with the aromatics. Um, so, but my Peterson, that was this year's acquisition. That turned out to be, that was kind of a gift to myself for Christmas and it was, I really am enjoying this pipe. This is a great feeling pipe. It's a great looking, really good quality Peterson, the, you know, marquee that's been around a long time. Um, more recently than that, at actual Christmas, my wife got me a Bing's favorite from Salvinelli. And that, I'm really starting to love this thing. This is probably, between this and my, my Bound, these two I probably grab more than anything. I reach towards them more than anything. So, um, this one being, being kind of a longer stem, yeah, semi, semi bent, so almost fully straight. I have noticed it does smoke the Virginia's a little cooler. It's got a tall pot in it, a really tall pot. Um, not super wide. It, it, it's an 18, 18 and a half, maybe 19 millimeter, but it's really tall. And it does get a little, it's got thinner walls, so it kind of gets a little bit hotter, but it's a really comfortable pipe. It smokes the Virginia's beautifully. Um, 
it's it's kind of like just an effortless pipe it's very lightweight it's the lightest of all the ones i have that sweet virginia smell all right so yeah so back back to the savinelli this is a bing's favorite because it was similar in style to uh what bing crosby smoked a lot really well well made pipe overall for a simple inexpensive pipe um not not one of their more expensive in the marquee very lightweight it's an easy clincher you can hang it out her mouth while you're i feel like norman rockwell with this one because you're just like painting away it's out of the way it brings the smoke away from your face so if you're concentrating and looking at your artwork or whatever it's not right up in your face um i've only recently started using the softy bits because i do clench a lot and i do like them overall And that brings me lastly to the Falcon. This is my first Falcon. I have only had a few bowls for this one. I like the lightweightness. I like the versatility of the bowls, like bowl designs you can pop off, you know. I like how easy it is to clean. And I like, it's just, it's easy to clean. It's a little different than the Briar. Um, it's a little bit more maintenance as far as how many pieces you got because you got to, you know, clip a little ring of your, um, you can buy the rings from Falcon or you can just clip a little ring of, of a pipe filter and then, or a pipe cleaner and wrap it around the bottom of the bowl there to keep the moisture out. And it works really well for that. I've noticed it does smoke very cool all the way down to the bottom. So I do enjoy the Falcon. Um, I haven't had a lot of experience with it yet. It's on my rotation now. And uh, so far it's been good. I mean, the bowls aren't super deep. It's not a super big bowl. Um, it's about a 20 millimeter bowl, but it's only, you know, maybe just over half an inch deep. So it's not a long smoke, but this is a good traveler. I, I can see this being a good travel or put in your pocket type of pipe. Um, when you don't have to worry about breaking it or whatever. The plastic stem here, uh, mouthpiece is a little bit thinner than a regular pipe cleaner. It's a little too small to get a regular pipe cleaner in which is kind of an annoyance, but it's not the end of the world. You can get the thin ones for it from Falcon. Um, I find that kind of annoying. That's the only annoyance I had with it. Other than that, I mean, it hangs really well. I like that it's got texture on the mouthpiece, the bit. It's got texture for your teeth. I think that's a really good design. Um, it kind of helps give you some reference point to clench. Hangs really well, easy to clean, and, and it smokes really cool. Um, with anything I put in it so far, which I can't remember what they are, I just kind of random grab bag stuff that I do every day. Probably haunted bookshops, one of them, maybe some vapor, a vapor Elizabethan or something like that. But that's my pipe collection overall. Um, I have some odds and ends kicking around, just like random cobs and shop stuff, but nothing, nothing worth looking at. My suggestion, if you are new to pipe smoking or just getting into it and you're kind of wondering what to buy because it can get overwhelming um looking at the marquee of pipes that are out there to choose from the styles shapes and sizes um it can get a little overwhelming and you, you you may you may get too lost in the weeds about oh if i get this kind of pipe i have to smoke this kind of tobacco but i don't know if i'm like that kind of tobacco and oh my gosh i don't even know if i got enough to there's nothing wrong with collecting pipes if you're going to collect multiple of them go ahead but you may not want to start off that way um, cause you may not know if you, you know, may not like it. You may do it for a year and be like, nah, this is not for me. I don't want to invest a lot of money or a lot of time into pipes. So if I had to go back and start over and say to my new piping self a couple years ago or whatever, and say, Hey, get this to start with. Um, you'll, you'll enjoy more experiences over a broader range of tobacco with it. And it'll be a little easier for you to get along with. I probably would have started uh, with this oh i forgot my 7 Ellie. that's the oh here's my other favorite dang i forgot about that sorry i would have started with something like this a bent or uh, only partially bent either straight or just barely bent apple or prince um my 7 Ellie. this is one of my favorite pipes absolutely one of my favorite top 7 Ellie i bought last year uh, with the army mounts and stuff but this something like this simple prince or apple bowl um straight-ish mostly straight or slightly bent just a little bit is probably one of the best all-around daily driver type of pipes okay um <clears throat> that would be my main suggestion rather than going with and regardless of company i mean there's there's so many different marquees that make such great pipes out there but the least temperamental uh for new people I mean, and i'm talking specifically to the new pipe crowd and what i would have told myself early on 
go with something the least temperamental and your standard or classic shapes tend to be that way for me. I've experienced just myself. Other people, your mileage may vary. There's a wide variety of experiences out there and everybody's a little bit different. And yes, your visual tastes are going to be different, but I've had, all right, my, ca my camera cut off of me on my last little bit of the diatribe there, but um, I've had the best luck in my experience so far with the simpler shapes, um, with the broadest range of tobaccos. So for the new crowd, or if I was going to go back and tell myself where to start, Bent Apple or Straight Apple, not a bad choice at all. I'm glad I went with that. The Brigham Algonquin has been a great pipe for me. I've really enjoyed it. The Savinelli Prince, a great pipe. I had to make some modifications. Most of that has, has, has to do with the way I like my pipes on the internals. So I changed that after making some and stuff like that and smoking them. I have a preference, so I changed it. Um, and it wasn't quite smoking great right off the bat for me. But now it's a fine pipe. Um, and, and it really, I really, really enjoy that one. And then uh, my top suggestion, no question, if I were gonna give somebody the pipe, like I said, give it to them as a gift, new guy, starting right out of the gate, Savinelli's um, Bing's favorite, that style of pipe, like a straight billiard or slightly bent billiard. Um, this is gonna be a, a, a pipe you can get a broad range of use out of so far as tobacco styles. And um, your mileage may vary, like I say. Uh, you, you may find yourself more attracted to something like this, um, but I, I have noticed some temperamentalness with these type of pipes, with the bent, with the moisture content and stuff like that. These tend to smoke a little drier. And as a new pipe smoker, you want something that's gonna be a little drier. It's very simple in its design. The Prince's, the Apple's, the Prince, the Apple, and the Billiard are three of the top made designs out there. Um, I guess you could say the top um, manufactured designs in, in the catalog of Danish, Danish style pipes. So you will find a broader range of them available through more makers. So you can find something within those categories through a broad range of makers that fits your style or your taste. So that would be my main suggestion. Um, starting out, there it is narrowed it down a little bit of him and haw in there going through it but i love print shapes i love apple shapes um i love rhodesians and stuff like that but i don't i don't actually like billiard shape but it's been one of my favorite pipes so far um from the beginning like from the moment i started smoking it and i'm gonna have another bowl in it this afternoon because i just love them so much um so that that's, that's where i would go with something some keep it simple you know, experiment around and then see if you're even into the hobby. If you're in, you're gonna be into it long term, then you can start collecting stuff like, you know, different bowl sizes, and st types and styles and shapes and stuff like that. And really start experimenting with the different tobaccos because your tobacco tastes are gonna make a difference in your smoking preference and style of pipe. They can. Um, I won't say this pipe won't can't smoke this tobacco good or that one because it can. It can smoke any tobacco good. It just kind of has to do with how you light it, pack it and treat it. Um, but you may find some that do better or even some brands within the same category uh, of tobacco. It's that part is completely subjective. The tobacco experience itself is completely subjective um, and everybody's mileage is different. So, so far as pipes go, this would be my first suggestion. Something like that. Thank you for joining me again. Thank you for coming back to the Bull and Burley and I hope you find fair winds, good friends, cool smokes, and fantastic pipes.